use superlative adverbs for actions. These are actions of a thing or a person. The best, the worst, the highest, the lowest. One thing or one person takes action that is above or below everyone else or everything else. Of all the people in the office, she dresses the most professionally. In a group of 10 or 20 people, there's one person, she, who dresses the most professionally. Here's the superlative adverb. It modifies this verb. You could change this to something else. You could say, she dresses the most casually. And that would be perhaps the opposite of professionally. But in a large group, she shows herself to be above or below other people in terms of her action. Remember that the superlative adverb is used for the action, how she dresses. Here are some examples of superlative adverbs. These are very short, simple sentences, but I want to demonstrate to you how these are put together and also how they sound. She sings most beautifully. He dances most gracefully. They travel most easily. We drive most carefully. And then there would probably be something that comes after these sentences. However, this sounds a little bit too stiff, sounds a little bit too rigid. Using superlative adverbs properly is not easy. So many people will avoid using them or instead use the irregular superlative adverbs. Here are some examples of irregular adverbs. To form the superlative, you just have to add the EST ending to each one of these. Fastest, hardest, loudest, highest, lowest, longest, and there are some others. You don't always have to put the in front of the superlative adverb, but it does often appear in front of the adverb. So you'll hear someone say the fastest, the hardest, the loudest, the highest, the lowest, the longest. This is especially true when you're making questions. Here are some examples of that. This question would be for people in a group. In a group of people who can sing, and then here is the superlative adverb, who can sing the loudest. This modifies the verb, can sing. Who can sing the lowest? Who can sing the highest? Who can sing the best? This superlative adverb is for the adverb well. When this word is in the superlative form, it becomes best. Remember that well is related to the adjective good. Here's the adjective, here's the adverb, here's the superlative adverb, the best. Which one lasts the longest? In this question, here's the verb, and then this is the superlative adverb for lasts. This is a question that you might ask about a product, a thing. Which one lasts the longest? Is it possible that it can last five years, seven years, 10 years, 20 years? If something lasts for 20 years, then perhaps it's the one that lasts the longest. In these sentences, the superlative adverb is related to the adjective good.
here it's the best. This modifies the verb, work. He plays guitar the best. You're thinking about a group or a situation when a person is performing. And we like this the best. In a large group, you're choosing one thing that you like the best. The superlative adverb modifies the verb like. Here's an interesting comparison of questions. Which one works the best? Which one is the best? Do you see the difference? Both of these sentences use the best. In this sentence, the best is the superlative adverb for this verb, work. And in this sentence, this is the superlative adjective and it's used for the noun. Remember the difference between adjectives and adverbs. We use adjectives for nouns and we use adverbs for verbs, for actions.